And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Again, there's a lot to discuss in today's video. Things are really starting to heat up. We are getting ever closer to the transfer deadline day and Celtic news has been non-stop in the last few days. So we'll discuss all things with regards to transfers because um, some players are set to leave between now and the end of the transfer window. So it's going to be a very hectic time for the club in the next few days. But before I do get into that transfer news, I do want to discuss a former Celtic player because he has now moved from the club that we sold him to and we are set to have banked a fair few um, thousands of pounds for him. So we'll discuss that now quickly. So Leo Helder, of course, we sold to Leeds United about two and a half years ago. He has now joined Sunderland for £2 million to work under former Rangers boss Michael Bill. This transfer, of course, as I mentioned, was £2 million to Sunderland. And the Celtic, when they sold him to Leeds, put a 15% sell-on clause in the deal. And therefore, we are banking around £300,000 for him. So not a bad little return for him. Of course, we sold him when he was in his youth level. Youth level, he's only 20 years old now, still very young. So we'll see how he gets on at Sunderland in the future. I didn't really get a chance at Leeds, but best of luck to him. Now let's discuss some transfer news with regards to our current players. Let's start with Celtic midfielder James McCarthy. Of course, he's been, well, it seems like he's fell off the face of the earth in the last few months. Not really heard anything of him in the past six months. Not featured for the team since October 2022, so it's been a long, long time. He's obviously not getting a look in whilst Brendan Rodgers has been manager either. It's fair to say he's had a fair few issues of injuries um, and he did feature for the B team last month as well. So there was that. Of course, when he initially signed for the Hoops, he signed on a four-year deal and that was kind of questioned at the time why that was the case. And it does seem quite strange now given the chance he's never really been given. I mean, he's never really contributed to the team in any sense whatsoever since he joined the club. And it seems now that he is trying to run down his deal, um, but we did recently reject a loan offer for him as reports from Sky Sports. So they said that Greek Super League outfit Volos FC wanted to take the midfielder on loan until the end of the season. But Celtic, however, rejected the offer because enough of the players' wages wasn't being covered. So it will be quite interesting to see between now and the end of the window, which of course is literally like two days away, if he does stay in Glasgow or not. He is picking up a fairly decent wage at the club and he's not really doing anything to earn that wage. So... I guess it's up to the player himself. Will the temptation of game time maybe persuade him to leave the club or will he be happy to run down his contract? We'll have to wait and see with regards to that. But the other player that looks set to leave, and this one's obviously uh, David Turnbull, not really had a look in much this season, bearing very inconsistent, had a good opening day to the season, getting a brace against Ross County, but not done much since then, let's be completely honest. It now appears that he may go out on a permanent transfer to Cardiff City in the Championship. So, there's a couple of things to bear in mind with this transfer. It has been reported by Sky Sports, and they do suggest that the Cardiff City side are interested in the 24-year-old midfielder, and of course his current contract does end at the end of the season. So it does appear the best outcome for this would be a permanent transfer so we can recuperate some money back for Turnbull because as it things stand right now, there's no chance of the player signing a contract with the club. And of course, with the likes of Port Paolo Bernardo and Matto Riley in great form, he won't really get a look in, in the team on a regular basis. And that was quite apparent when he didn't feature against um, Bucky Thistle, who play in the Highland League in the Scottish Cup. So... It feels like the best choice for us right now is to sell David Turnbull to Cardiff City. It won't be a massive transfer fee, of course, because his contract is due to expire at the end of the season. But any money back for him will be very much welcomed, I suppose, because we don't want to lose him out on a free at the end of the season. So, as always, let me know your thoughts on all things we discussed today. It's obviously a shame about David Turnbull in particular. I'm not going to get much money back for him, but that is, of course, the situation as it stands right now. So yeah, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.